I am Major General Richard Chippen Guru Mutai. I left service on the 1st of August 2019. So, um, let me start by a number of comments about Dr. Mugaji. I came into the 1st of May 2021 by the invitation of the Excellency, the Government of the State, to assist in fashion out a good outfit for the state. And the very moment I went for the body, there was that chemistry that, you know, that exhaled for us, and then since then we have been together. Apparently, it's my boss now. Was coming here, he directed me. Not that uh, she, she, he left, that was only a request. I was more or less directed to be here and speak on uh, securing the homeland. Now, we have reviewed a number of his books, but this very one, you know, more or less painting outside what most of us are used to, into the realms of security. Securing the homeland. And I've had this book for over a year, but I never took time to read it. But uh, when I was directed, I had to go through it. It more or less refreshed my mind on a lot of things I was used to, I was doing while in science. So the book, the, the book was centered on events in America following the 11th of September 2001 event, the terrorist attack in America. Now, many of us are aware, the elderly was probably the youth are not aware. We told the terrorist attack in which our four Arabs entered America, boarded airplanes, hijacked airplanes, about three or four of them, and overpowered the crew and ran into the World Trade Center, Pentagon, and some other places. At the end, 10,000 people died in that same act. And of course, that led to a commission of inquiry, which led to the establishment of the homeland security in the United States. Now, the book is quite detailed. It talks about in detail what people in the civil sector, the politicians, those in the civil sector, the intellectuals, what they do to secure the environment. Many of us will believe that there is only so that more. War fighting is an intellectual exercise. Before you fight anyone, you must think it out. It's not by chance. You think it out and you, and, and you try to simulate it to see if actually your course of action will lead to success. Of course, most times there is no, there is no plan that survives the first conscience because everything is, you know, a kind of um, a guesswork, but based on some principles. So the book generally talks about the challenges we have in town. I know most of you can ask the problem we have in the United States. Who can tell us? On all government, healthmen, kidnappers. A choice of separatist movements, ESN, IPOP, all that. Of course, we have criminals who go about, you know, enforcing things like sit at home, which I'm sure today that sit at home, maybe from 12. But we are not going to be alone. We are this very, very secure. But we are not going to be alone. We have it in our communities. So the book generally looks at the various safety challenges. What are those things security people do to ensure that 
to secure your environment. Things like the tactics, automatic, techniques, so I'm considering position here. How do you look at all the security problems you have and solve them one after one? Well. Because if the police, the civil defense, the cases have similar equipment operation, they can talk to each other. But they have many systems that's in front of interoperability. And that's an issue. Now, the digital environment has also aided the activities of criminals, insolence, terrorists. Because you know, the internet provides them with a lot of information on so many things. Even how to make bombs. I mean, that's in the provides uh, explosive devices. They have made it. And of course, even some of the attacks here in the United States, I mean, this have been applied. So the internet is a very terrible asset for the terrorists. The same messages, the transmit messages, they, they learn how to build bombs and what have you. And um, that is also a problem for the force, the regular forces and the civil forces in the police. Also, the internet also put about the issue of um, propaganda, misinformation, what are you? Of course, we are aware of what happened in the past few months during the 2020 elections. The various groups use the internet to inform others or to protect their bodies. And the internet also uses it to deal with the civil forces. What makes it very difficult to do is your decision are they based on facts? Are they based on ethics? Because if they do that, this is on ethics, on sentiments, and backfires, that's what they do. Of course, perhaps they don't get, you know, the instances which we want to use to cite, to narrate or explain why leadership and social is very important. The inclusion of Nigeria. The decision of Nigeria to deploy the women forces in Nigeria was taken by the military men who were at the government. Was it based on facts? Was it based on national interests? And then, what did we achieve? We achieved peace, yes, but national people became there. No nation set its roots outside the country without a barrier. The whole song will talk. Now, the book is very comprehensive and it gives members of the civil forces and the military the working tool on how to unravel and deal with our challenges, provided they have the right equipment without logistics and resources to do the work. I recommend this book to members of the military because the book has been be repackaged into modules, three modules, on the frame of our, our personnel. And um, both that the middle gala and the junior, the junior and the middle gala level, there are a lot of those things mentioned are catalyzed. So you need to teach them because knowledge gives confidence and knowledge will know your bounds. And that is why action by the military and civil forces must be measured, particularly when I do that. Because civil parties cannot sacrifice because of national security. But at times, the nice, you know, I love the value. But we see a lot of that on TV, but I don't know. Um, in conclusion, I want to thank the Lordy for this um, wonderful book. And I urge you to look at what can the Ministry of Homeland Security and Digital Affairs with 
the Minister of Justice do this for me. We can't organize in that way for our personnel here in the world. So that they can understand some of these principles, some of these tactics, and some of these procedures, so that human states can be saved. I thank you.